Hello, all my beautiful people. Just checking my lipstick. Um, how you doing? <laughs> I have my cup of coffee, honey. I have a beautiful, beautiful cup of coffee. And this time I got the um, the French vanilla um, powder cream to put in the coffee. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. I just turned the camera on, y'all. I just turned the camera on. Um, I was thinking about this channel, and um, I think I like the way that it's it's gonna start going. Y'all just the light just gonna do your girl like it want to, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a contest. Not, not a contest. I consider a contest is when you got to win something. But you're supposed to win something. You're supposed to win bragging rights, I guess. <laughs> the one that ate uh, collard greens and cornbread the fastest, I guess. But I guess that's a, con that's a, that's a contest. But they call it Smash Them Greens Challenge. And a challenge to me is like, uh, can you eat it all? So, I did it. I thought I messed up the very first time I touched the plate. Because you're supposed to not pick the pick the bowl up or pick it up and bring it to your mouth. I didn't pick it up, but then I leaned over and I kind of pulled it to me. <laughs> and I said, did I mess up? Did I mess up? And I was losing time while I was saying, did I mess up? Should I stop? Should I, I think, should I stop? That's what I was thinking. And then I say, well, I'm just going to keep on eating. And so then I, I kept on eating. Well, I'm not going to tell y'all my time, but I did that on uh, Tasty Sensations. Tasty Sensations is in the description box. If you want to see Val smash them greens, smash them greens. Oh, you had to say smash them greens five times while you were eating and, and see by it being a, 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 a speed thing. You may forget to say it five times. So y'all go over there and check it out and see if I did it right. And if you uh if you go over and check out the person that described on what you're supposed to do, I may have done it right. So y'all go over there and tell that person that which is which is Tam's uh table, she created the contest, the, the the challenge, and she said the rules. I, I said the rules different. I said you can't touch the plate. She said you couldn't pick it up and bring it to your mouth. So y'all be the judge. Y'all go check it out for me. Smash them greens in the bottom of, of the description box. Um, Maybe I should put the video down there so it won't make it so hard for y'all to find it in case this video get old and then you look in the description box and you just hit Taste the Sensation and then you don't see the video because it's a lot of videos over there, over 500. So you might not see it. So maybe I should put the video up under here. Yeah, that's what I do. And uh, probably put her video up under, under there too and then you'll see, did I do it right? Tell her I sent you if you, do, if you go check it out. Check mine out first, though. What you say? Oh, this coffee is so good, y'all. I should be showing y'all the brand I got. I got it from Walmart over in the in over in there where the coffee at. Those tall con to containers which you would normally get um, the creamer for a dollar or a dollar seventy cent, a dollar twenty cent, whatever. They had some uh, a vanilla uh, creamer over there. And I like the powder kind because I ain't got time to be putting nothing in the refrigerator letting it get cold. What you? I need space in my refrigerator to keep other stuff. So anyway, <laughs> I got the powder, the tall powder kind. And this hair is getting hot right here, honey. What you say? What you say? Oh, I got the little thing. Um... Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I got the little thing. Um, um, what? 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 <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. I got it off my neck. What you talking about? <laughs> there, 
I say, you need one of them little squeezers to go. Yeah, I do need one of them little squeezers, don't I? Squeeze right here. Just get it off my neck for a minute, child. And then when I do a video, another video, then I can break it down again. If I got to do one of the videos where I got to get all old in your face. <laughs> Baby, they already told me, you trying to be sexy. I did some over there, and they say I was trying to be sexy. But, honey, when you, when I talk real slow, like I'm, I'm talking now, and when I whisper, I get in your face like that. A lot of people get in your face and whisper. But then when I whisper real slow, I say, I move my head when I when I say it slow. So that, well, if you're, ooh, sex, baby, if you got it, you got it in here. Don't you? Don't. So who care? <laughs> Um, I was just looking down, um, at my, um, notice, me and Pam just went live, but I'm, I'm already talking on video, so. She say, hey, hello, yeah, hello, oh, lordy, I think that's what she said, that's that live video, if y'all want to check it out. I'm tempted to cut the cut this off because I, I I didn't have anything really to talk about. But I know once I cut the camera on, stuff just come to me, child. It just come to me. I was thinking about all the stuff that was going on in the news. Cause you know I watch. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted, wanted to say. I believe I watch. Um, let me bring y'all closer so I can lean back. See, I'm leaning back like this, and I done got away from the camera. I watch the news right and do y'all remember I did a video yesterday on uh, human trafficking well that video was really about human trafficking uh, uh, of black women so I was just wondering how people put out those um, um, reports saying that Black people like this, black people like that. Because I've never been contacted. Or uh, like when they said black people are into this, like the political thing. Because I know I watch something about Trump each and every day. But I don't comment on it. I know what he did. I know what he's doing. I know about the impeachments. I know about the people that's running for office. And I know about all of that. But... There's not one time I was asked about that and asked my opinion about that by none of those folks. But yet still, they know what black people, they actually say black people are thinking. And my thing is, if they know so much about we, what we're thinking, they don't know about black Twitter. If they do know about black, black, know about black Twitter, they aren't talking about it. They don't know about black Facebook. What do you say, but black Facebook? Well, the things that black people talk about on Twitter and black, what black people talk about on Facebook amongst themselves because they message each other. Because the stuff about the, the human trafficking, it just went on a video plastered on Facebook. It was handed down from person to person in a, in a, in a messenger. So how they in the loop unless they in your loop? How they know what you're talking about? How they know what concerns you? But yet and still, they say black people are, are, are for Biden. That may be true. But how you know? Uh, Elizabeth Warren. You know, how you know? You get what I'm saying? All those people are great. Bernie Sanders. All of those people are great. They going about, they going by a vote of yesteryears. Of yesteryears. Because it's something about all of them I like. And it's something about all of them I don't like. You get what I'm saying? But push come the show, I know who I'm going to vote for when it comes from this person and that person. And the the uh, the lesser evil, which one? The lesser evil is the one I'm going to vote for. Between the, between the parties. And I'm going to vote my interests. What interests me and my people? And what interests me and my people interests all people. Because when the black man suffer and you let it get away with it, it start bleeding into other communities. They treated black folks wrong for so long 
it bleeded over into the Latinos. And look what they did to them, put them in cages. They put us in cages first. And nothing was done about it. Till 200 years later. When all them other folks were dead and gone. That actually was in the cage. You see, when you sleep on on the, the, the tragedies of one nation, it start bleeding into all the nations. It's only a matter of time. But the thing is, don't sleep on these children. That's, these children still ain't made at home. Them children still don't know where their parents at. Their parents don't know where they at. And my whole thing about them taking them kids... They gave them kids to somebody that can't have kids. They took them children. That's what I think. They on a waiting list to be adopted out to some family that's got some money that wants some children. It's like slavery. Because their parents may never see them again. And I pray that they do. I pray that I know some are getting back home. But what happened to them little, little, little bitty babies that were snatched out of women's arms? What happened to them? That now, by now, they call it whoever got them mama or daddy. Because they know how to talk now. Stop sleeping on the tragedies of others just because you think it don't concern you. Because sooner or later, baby, it's going to knock on your door and run down your street. Now, you keep sleeping on what's happening to them, them, them people down on that border. And it don't concern you. And your nationality. Your people. When they step on one of us, they step on all of us. And that's one thing that, that uh, these people don't say about our folks. People of color. When you step on one of us, you step on all of us. We see you. We see you. We see you. So you can't say you know what we're thinking. We see you. We don't write it down. We might not talk about it, but we see you. What you doing to them babies? Because those are all babies also. You don't know we think that way. 